How is it that Honda sales have literally fallen off a cliff? They're seeing global sales drop as much as 15% as well as we're seeing U.S. regulators dive in. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration is calling 1.4 million Hondas for bad engines. We've also seen bad engines develop with the 1.5 liter turbo four-cylinder engine and the oil and fuel dilution issues. Sales, yes, have gone down by 15% globally and a big part of that has to do with the Chinese sales that have literally almost but dried up. While American sales and Japanese sales have crept up relatively moderately, overall walking down car lots here where I've checked local dealers, we're seeing inventory growing at an absolute alarming rate. Yes, I've never seen this types of inventory since pre-2020. Yes, we're seeing car lots now literally fill up in the last six to six months to 12 months, we're seeing a lot of the inventory build up. What's going on at Honda? Why are sales falling? what is actually happening and are people losing confidence in the brand so for the month of september honda global sales have literally fallen by another 14.8 percent or 307,000 units sold and on top of that now we're talking about the sixth consecutive month of these decline in sales for honda yes while the chinese market is a big part of that where a lot of these BYD and these Chinese made manufacturers are offering a more affordable brand for a lot of these Chinese buyers. The fact remains is even with moderate sales here in North America, the point remains, are people losing confidence? I mean, it doesn't take long to look back in history to find that their 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder engine has seen some major oil and fuel dilution issues. That was enough to shake up and rattle a lot of consumer confidence in the brand. Then, of course, we saw their ratings based on consumers' reports fall from what was traditionally always up there with Toyota and Lexus, and it was always Honda was up there. Now, Honda is starting to fall down the ranks with brands like BMW, Mini, and many other brands, even like Mazda, kicking Honda to the proverbial curb. Honda is sliding many ranks, many slots down, and a big part of that has to do with overall reliability. Their continuously variable transmission has caused a lot of challenges as well. And consumer sentiment of overall confidence in buying the brand that it's going to provide motor trouble-free motoring seems to be going away. Now, unfortunately, the U.S. regulators are at it again, where initially there was a much smaller number, 250,000 units recalled for Honda to have bad 3 five liter v6 engines that's right there was a problem in the machining down at the bottom of the engine the crankshaft and of course the rod bearings which is the interface between the connecting rod and the crankshaft there was a machining issue which developed very early created catastrophic engine failures there's been many complaints many recalls and certainly many uh trips to the dealer with many consumers wondering why do I have a problem with my Honda? I thought they were reliable vehicles. Yes, that 35, that 3.5 liter V6 engine, now the recall has been expanded to 1.4 million vehicles. And all those vehicles that you might actually find those engines are Honda Odyssey, of course you've got the Pilot, the Honda Ridgeline, Acura MDX, and the TLX. So quite evidently impacts a whole host of different vehicles. And while consumers often went to brands like Toyota, Lexus, as well as Honda for the confidence they developed, a quality car that was highly reliable, the problem is lately what we're seeing in all of these vehicles, not just Honda, but Toyota and Acura and Lexus, is that some of that reliability seems to be going by the wayside. Where there's Toyota and their 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 having particulate in the engine taking out the main bearings, whether it is that new automatic transmission found in the Tacoma, which is locking up because of a bad torque converter and actuators within the transmission, or whether it's just clearly a quality control issue across the board, and Honda's feeling it, Toyota's feeling it, everybody's feeling it. And the worst part is the consumer, like you and I, are feeling it too. But now what we're seeing is Honda at least is openly opening the doors to regulators to further investigate. And this recall with expanded number of vehicles added just shows that the regulators are starting to lose a little bit of the confidence too. But at least Honda has been open enough to say, yes, come on in. We're going to include it all. We're going to do inspections on these relevant vehicles. And hopefully we have no further issues. So the way it stands right now 
you know, I have had often very high levels of confidence in the brand. We even personally own a Honda Civic and we bought it because we knew it was from a generation back in 2013 when they made some of the most reliable vehicles. Sadly, Honda has been dealing with some issues come 2017, 2018 is the beginning of some of these 3.5 liter issues. Of course, that 1.5 liter turbo four with the oil and fuel dilution issues happened almost 10 years ago. And now we're starting to see an expanded view of some of these other problems. Toyota, Lexus, no different. There seems to be a growing problem, a challenge. And it's not unique to Honda or Toyota or Lexus. We're seeing it across the industry. A lot of it seems to be these brands looking for opportunities to save more revenue, to cut corners, if it will, in my own personal opinion. In my personal observation, it feels like the vehicles, doesn't matter what brand, feel like they have much more cost-cutting measurements applied to the construction of a lot of these new vehicles. It's a sad state of affairs, but here where revenue is constantly the go-to, where every manufacturer is looking for opportunities to save money, you know, cost cutting measurements seem to be in place. Of course, obviously everybody wants to make a buck and Honda, Toyota, Lexus are certainly no different. But it should never happen at the expense of the consumer. But unfortunately, this seems to be happening these days. Anyway, stay tuned for more challenges that we're going to see and how this all evolves for the Honda brand and Acura. If you happen to be shopping for one of those vehicles, just know this, generally speaking, that was a highly sought after and is continues to be a highly sought after drivetrain. That 3.5 liter V6 has traditionally had high levels of durability built into it. It's also one of the last naturally aspirated V6s available on the market as even Toyota and Lexus transition their V6s out of the market and replace them with a turbocharged four cylinder engine. Just make sure that if you're buying for any of these vehicles, you go to the NHTSA website, search the VIN in question or the year and the make and the model, and it should let you know what kind of challenges you're about to embark on. So with all of that said, please do drop a line. I'd like to hear more thoughts from you as the consumer, whether you think this is you know, worth buying, whether you think it's too much of a risk. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have faith in Honda? I mean, we did, we bought one, but times are changing. Things are changing and the entire market is evolving. Hope to see each and every one in the next one. See you real soon. Bye-bye.